Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today I'm at home and I'm sitting next to nine of my helmets from the last 14 years. In total I got 13 and four actually incoming for this season. Um, but yeah, I thought about talking about all of them and when I used them, why I actually took this design and what's special about them. So I'm gonna get started with my first ever racing helmet. Which is this one. <laughs> it's a complete normal helmet. I didn't design it at all. I just, or my dad just bought it like this for me. And actually that's the helmet with which I started karting. So my first meters close to Munich on a kart track was with this one. And I'm gonna search for some pictures, which I can hopefully show you. Um, but this was actually my first helmet. I know now it looks strange, but <laughs> that's how I started. And when I started with races and karting, my parents made me a big, I think it was birthday gift or so, and I could design my first ever own helmet, which was this one. Um, yeah, I was, I was like seven, eight years old, so I chose pink and two keys. And the special thing about this helmet, and why I actually still love this helmet so much, is actually the back. So I got Spongebob on there. <laughs> I loved Spongebob at that time, and yeah. He was my lucky charm, so <laughs> I really like this helmet because of him. And when I was, I think, eight or so, Michael Schumacher also signed me this helmet. So this is his signature, and I think I think it was in Cape or so, it's a karting track in the north. He signed it to me, so yeah. My first ever own designed helmet. After this one, we... Well, I got this one, actually, I think. Yeah which was, I think I designed it when I was like 10, 11. And to be honest, it was not really my design. It was more my dad trying some stuff out because I'd switched teams and the factory in karting. So the design was mainly red. And then my dad surprised me with this one. And to be really honest, I think I've used this one once or twice. <laughs> and apart from this, it's then my sister, when she tried karting, drove with this one always. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty new with my name here. In the background you have the skull. Um, yeah, it's really aggressive, but I don't know. I've never really used it, so I don't really love this helmet. It doesn't really have that much special moments in my memories. But it was like, I was like 11 or 12 when I got this one. Um, okay, we continue with this helmet, which is Actually, a special helmet for a special event, which was Scusa karting race in Las Vegas. So I've raced there two times, I think. Always in November, it's like a really big event in America. And because Las Vegas is the gaming city of America, we put all the coins and roulettes and all that stuff in the cards, the play cards, on the helmet. I think it's really cool. Um, with the circles up here. I actually really like this helmet and before this one I had two other helmets which are not here um, with a similar design also with this blue and red um, but this one is like the newest and still most good looking one so yeah I think I used this one for one and a half years or so um, designed by Lucky Design Italian designer who's actually doing quite a lot in karting and car racing um, so we continue with this one which one was afterwards? There, yeah, this one. Um, I had, I think, three helmets in total with this green main color and those stripes going on here. And um, this one was my first car helmet, I think, actually. Um, I used it in Chinetters. So when I was doing my first year in cars in, in England, the Touring Car Championship. Um, yeah. Pretty cool design with the stars here, a lot of glitter and it's pretty, yeah, fluid color, so really uh, special kind of. Um, and what I loved the most about this one was actually that all the Swarovski stones on here were shining a lot. So there was, of course I'm a girl, so I really love those ones. Um, but I have all the Swarovski stones up there, which I think are pretty cool. I'm also designed by Lucky, by the way. And after this one, came my Formula 4 helmet. So when I did my first year in F4 with Motor Park, I had this black car with all the colored stripes going over the car, if you maybe remember, I'm gonna put a picture below to show you. And this was my helmet, which I used for racing at that time. It was also the stripes going 
over the helmet like on the car as well. Um, I had those glitter stones here again and yeah the, similar, the design was pretty similar. You still see the radio here actually from F4 with the hands and yeah that was my first my helmet in F4 in my first year so actually first Formula season. Really liked it. It's pretty cool actually I think. In my second F4 year with Mücke I used this pink blue helmet actually but it's I think it's this helmet just with a new design. So under this design is the pink and blue from the BWT helmet. Um, but this one is the next one. And actually this one is very special and I've not shown it to anyone since I got it back. So um, this is the helmet I raced with in my first F3 year. So 2018 with Van Amersfoort. I actually designed it in this orange silver because the car at that time was um, black but with the orange patches from from, from Amersfoort design um, and I really wanted it to keep it clean and just like one proper color so I chose orange and had this camouflage going all over the helmet. Um, probably whoops, still one of my favorite designs to be honest um, and yeah then I also raced in Macau with this helmet um, and yeah, that's actually the helmet which saved my life and yeah, I've never showed it to you guys but I got it back bef one week before Macau 2019 so it took the FIA one, one year to check everything and um, yeah, make sure to see what, what saved my life at that point point. Um, and you can still see the scratches or scratches up here so that's kind of when I hit the barrier um, all those purple things and you can see carbon here you can see that the helmet is broken down there and up here there's like a big scratch which shows that the carbon that the helmet is actually broken um, all this is of course completely cracked um, you have all the scratches up here or down there and yeah apart from here apart from back it's actually pretty okay so if you look from it in front you don't see anything but then up there it's done. But yeah, that's um, I think a helmet which I'm also, which I'm gonna keep until I'm gonna die because yeah, just big lifesaver, let's say. Um, so yeah, my favorite helmet from the past 14 years. Um, then yeah, this one was the one I raced in 2019, so last year in Formula Regional with Van Amersfoort. Um, I kept the design pretty similar to the one from the previous year, but I added some blue just to make it different. Um, but apart from this, the camouflage is here again um, and the orange and I wanted to have it shiny again. I don't know, but I like my helmet shiny and glittering. So yeah, also still from Lucky Design. So actually I had Lucky Design as a helmet painter for I think nine years or so in total. Um, yeah, and then I got my Macau special edition for 2019. Which was actually the first time, first time I think I used Bell. So all the previous helmets were RI helmets or UVX, but then I got Bell as a partner and used Bell for the first time. And also this year I'm gonna use Bell. Um, really good helmets, and I changed the design of the painter as well. It's Yota Designs now, and he was designing this helmet in. I think two days or so and he painted it in four days because it was really short, short term with Macau last year um, but I think it's just an amazing design. I mean I had MGM China as a sponsor so we put the lion from, from, the, from the brand there um, because Macau is a gambling city again we put the roulette, the play cards, the coins um, all on here then the Macau skyline in the back with the Macau flag which is also up there my second home and um, yeah, I don't know, I choose those colors like green, yellow, blue, because they are really shiny and you look at them and this one yeah, just stands out. So really like this helmet and I was still using it for the official test days in Bahrain this year, some weeks ago, um, in FIA 3. But yeah, that are all my favorite helmets with some small stories added and um, yeah this year I'm gonna get four new helmets actually they are all getting designed and painted right now really beautiful helmets and I can't wait to show them to you 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and see you next time again.